Medical Research Lab, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Very often, amongst the tests that are performed to assess the cause of infertility, torch test is also recommended. Let's talk about the significance of torch test and infertility. Torch test is also known as the torch panel or torch screen which is a group of blood tests that are done to check for the presence of antibodies against certain infections that can cause birth defects or complications during pregnancy. So what does TORCH stand for? T-O-R-C-H T is for toxoplasmosis O is others which includes syphilis or varicella zoster virus R is rubella C is cytomegalovirus H is herpes simplex virus. So all you need to understand that it's an analysis of panel of diseases that can be assessed through this kind of a test. These infections that we talked about can be transmitted from the mother to the developing fetus during pregnancy, either through the placenta or during childbirth. If a woman becomes infected with one of these infections during pregnancy, it can pose serious risks to the health and the development of the fetus and sometimes may even result in miscarriages, stillbirth or birth defects. The TORCH test is typically done as part of the routine prenatal care for pregnant women, especially if they have certain risk factors such as a history of previous TORCH infections, exposure to infected individuals or if they have symptoms that are suggestive of a torch infection. It helps to identify if a woman has been previously exposed to any of these infections and has developed antibodies against them. Now this may also provide some level of immunity. However, it is important to note that the presence of antibodies does not necessarily guarantee immunity and uh, definitely further testing and evaluation may be required to assess the risk that can be posed to the fetus. In the context of infertility, the TORCH test may also be done as a part of regular workup for couples struggling with infertility, especially if there have been many recurrent miscarriages or a history of TORCH infections. In some cases, these infections can affect fertility and the ability to conceive or carry a pregnancy to term. By identifying the presence of antibodies against TORCH infections, appropriate medical interventions such as uh, antiviral or antibiotic treatment may be recommended to reduce the risk of transmitting the infection to the fetus or to improve the chance of a successful pregnancy outcome. So let's summarize. The TORCH test is significant in the context of uh, infertility as it helps to identify the presence of antibodies against certain infections that can pose risk to pregnancy and may affect fertility. It can aid in diagnosis, management and prevention of TORCH infections during pregnancy and may also be a part of routine prenatal or infertility workup depending on the clinical situation. What is it that we are trying to identify through this test? There are two kinds of antibodies, IgG and IgM. When it is IgG, all you basically need to remember is that you have been exposed to a certain kind of uh, disease, the ones that we talked about in the infections and IgG means you had previously this kind of infection and now you do not have the symptoms or are not affected by the infection. IgM means that you are currently infectious, that is you are going through some infection, it could be rubella or herpes or the, the list that I gave and there is a live infection within your body that should be treated. So IgG and IgM are what we are trying to locate in terms of antibodies by performing this test. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.